Game Boys and Game Girls, I'm the Game Boy Guru, and this is a Zagbox. Yes, once again, my friend Zagnorch has come through with another amazing shipment of stuff, and I am here with my trusty box cutter that uh, apparently makes him nervous. So we'll uh, we'll see how much he uh, how nervous he is, I guess, while I'm opening this. Uh, this is a giant shipment that uh, we've been working out a deal for for quite some time and uh, this has been a long time in the works so I'm hoping that uh, for all of you who have seen previous Zagbox videos and kind of seen that uh, he has tended to ramp them up over time, and they just sort of get bigger as we go along, that hopefully it'll be worth the wait. Uh, unfortunately, when I came home yesterday and found the box on the front step, it was raining, and so this box was all wet. Um, now, I'm not worried about the stuff inside, because Zag is very good about wrapping everything up and packaging stuff very nicely. But uh, <laughs> I kind of wanted to wait until the uh, box had dried at least so that I could um, <clears throat> I could kind of get into this. So here we go. This is an envelope that says invoice slash packing slip. Uh, not so secret Santa gift, which uh, he does with Arf Generation every year, and bonus thingies. Alrighty. Well, anything that's a bonus is always good. So let's uh, take a look here. Oh boy. Ah yes. So this serves as the uh, packing list essentially of everything that I got. I am gonna set that aside because I want to, uh, it's been long enough since I've uh, done all of this that I don't 100% remember all of the stuff that's in here. I do remember this though. This is the Not So Secret Santa gift. It is a fun little um, Super Mario Dual World Maze game. It is a McDonald's toy and that's pretty cool. It's. Uh, it's got the uh, new Super Mario Brothers U uh, designs and stuff in the background. Shows the <clears throat> pattern uh, with the, uh, what you call it, the acorn power up. Uh, and then on the other side, you've got Luigi. So, very cool. And as I mentioned, it makes Zag nervous when I open my boxes. So he sent me a couple of, he told me he was going to do this. He sent me a couple of these really nice uh, box cutters that uh, I'll have to figure out how to use. Uh, yeah, I need to. I need to learn how to use this. Let's see if I can figure this out. Oh, there we go. Oh, okay, yeah. So the blade. The blade is only visible when your finger is on this little slider here. And so you have to slide it up in order to then use it to, to cut the tape. So, all right. Very cool. Thank you for these. These will be uh, nice to have, especially since you sent me a couple of them because I can keep one in the game room for stuff like this and I can keep one out in my... Uh, in my dining room where I have my uh, my vinyl collection. So when I'm opening up a new uh, game music soundtrack or a new record I got in the mail, that'll come in handy. Especially since it's such a short blade. All right, let's get into the goods. So this is smart and final. Some sort of bag here and what do we have? A couple of things in here. We have a... Oh yes, I remember you mentioning this. A Voice of Mario 
uh, article thing here in this Metro paper. That's pretty cool. It's got uh, Charles Martinet on the front and uh, I think an interview with him and the ultimate unauthorized Nintendo Game Boy strategies, which is great. Uh, of course, this, uh, the art on the front, uh, I can't remember the name of the artist, but it's the same cat character and art style used on pretty much all the album covers for the uh, jazz fusion band, the Rippingtons, which I have uh, kind of got into a little bit here in the last few years because my boss is a fan and uh, he plays them in the office. So it's kind of hard not to, not to like them. <clears throat> so that's pretty cool. One bag down. Let's see here, what comes next? Oh boy. This is a bit of a maze. All right, what do we have here? Ooh, we have a bag that is going to take a little bit to get into, I think, because this is tied in such a way. Here we go. This should help. Gotta be smarter than the bag. Or at least the person who tied it. Ah, oh, yes. Very cool. So, this will make a lovely addition to the room here. This is a... Uh, a nice advanced TIE Fighter and uh, I don't know if I want to keep this in the games room here or if I want to display this elsewhere but yeah this is pretty awesome open the cockpit there and if I happen to score myself a uh, a figure or two I can do that. Oh yes, and I can uh, retract the cannons or I can display them. That's pretty cool. So, advanced TIE Fighter. Very nice. Uh, oh yeah, there's also this that goes with it. Uh, oh sweet, yes. That's right, there is a... Uh, there's a clone trooper in here. And who is this? No, Luke. I am your father. Yeah. Darth Vader. Very cool. So. Actually, this might just be Vader's, uh, this might just be Vader's ship, because it really looks an awful lot like his, uh, his craft. So, we'll just go ahead and put Vader in there, and, uh, he can hang out there in the, in the TIE. Can't remember if it's a TIE Interceptor, or what the right term is. I know there are, I'm a Star Wars guy and I know there are probably people screaming at the top of their lungs, it's this! But uh, I don't remember off the top of my head, so forgive me for for uh, forgetting that. I'll be handing in my nerd card shortly. <clears throat> All right, we've got a, uh, ooh, a Wii U game here. Very nice. How about the uh, Nintendo Selects version of Legend of Zelda Wind Waker HD? Very nice. He bought that on clearance and uh, picked that up for me. Always nice to have those kinds of, of pickups. Speaking of Star Wars, whoops. 
move this out of the way here. We also have the Star Wars The Force Awaken, uh, Awakens, Awakens Disney Infinity 3.0 uh, play set with Ray and Finn there. That's pretty cool. Uh, I actually do like The Force Awakens quite a bit. Um, not as much as the originals, but I do think that it was, uh, you know, a decent way to kind of bring the series back. So, I'll have to <clears throat> put that on display there. Let's see, what do we have here? This is the size of either CDs or DS games, it looks like. So we've got Jam Sessions, Sing and Play Guitar. We have Cooking Mama 2, Dinner with Friends. We have The Chronicles of Narnia, The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. And we have My Sims Kingdom, or New My Sims Kingdom. I guess it's just My Sims Kingdom there. So some DS titles. Pull this bag out here. Ah, well, this is a Skylanders Superchargers box, and then is a garage storage case. So let's take the uh, little cover thing off here. This upside down? No? Let's, uh... Ah, here we go. Oh, look at that. And there is all sorts of goodness inside here. We've got uh, a Twilight of the Republic power disc pack for Disney Infinity 3.0. It's got Mace Window in there. See, I got a oh a Nintendo DS car charger, very nice. Ah, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Leonardo Water Grow. So, put this in water and he'll actually grow into his shell apparently, because uh, he's looking mighty small in that uh, in that shell. Oh yeah, Excite Bike sixty four. For the N64. Thank you for that. <clears throat> Star Trek The Next Generation. Tiger Handheld. Uh, I do love me some Star Trek. And uh, Next Generation I grew up on. Because I was, what, 10 years old in 87 when the show came, when the show debuted. And so I was watching that with my parents. Good times. Good times. Oh, here we go. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Raph Mega Blocks. So it's Raph with a skateboard and a street sign, a couple things there. That's pretty cool. Uh, what do we have here? We've got some Nintendo Mario Kart Wii stickers. That's pretty cool. I like Mario Kart Wii. This is a good game. We also have a Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Air Freshener Pack. <laughs> so you got to power up and then you've got Mario in a cart. Vanilla scented item box and vanilla scented Mario. All right. Let's see here. We also have. Oh, here we go. So there's a couple of pieces that are actually part of this set that allow you to uh, um, utilize it for uh, its actual intended purpose. And this is pretty sweet. This is a TMNT lunchbox. Or, uh, yeah, I suppose it's just a small lunchbox. But what is inside? Oh my goodness. Look at all of this. So, I got Animaniacs Game Boy Manual. Definitely needed that. Uh, Ken Griffey Jr. Major League Baseball Game Boy Edition. This is cool because this is actually the retail release. Um, the I have the not for resale version that apparently was part of a bundle. So now I finally have the, the retail release. Uh, let's see here. We've got, oh, this is fun. 
This is a little uh, mushroom. Nintendo 3DS. Oh, I see. So this holds 3DS cartridges, or that was its intended purpose. So you unzip this, and uh, there's a couple of little pockets in here that you can put 3DS games into. That's kind of cool. Not super practical, but a fun little item, nonetheless. And since it's got a keychain, you know, you can hook it to a book bag or purse or or whatever, and it's pretty cool. <clears throat> All right. Ooh, lots of lots of games in here. We have an Australian warranty statement, which I'm assuming is for something in here, either the lunchbox or the uh, Skylanders thing. We've got Our Marines Project Swarm, another N64 game here. Cool stuff. We got Men in Black 2, the series for Game Boy Color. I'll uh, show these off there. There's MIB 2. We got uh, Matt Hoffman's Pro BMX for Game Boy Color, and James Bond 007 for Game Boy. This is the Nintendo Select, or the uh, Player's Choice, excuse me. So that's the million seller version, which I didn't have. We've got Lizzie McGuire on the go for Game Boy Advance. Pokemon Ruby for the Game Boy Advance. Pokemon Sapphire for the Game Boy Advance. And uh, these look legit. They've got the, the right labels. They've got the imprints in the labels the way they're supposed to. We got this Stylin' PlayStation keychain, which uh, is pretty cool. My very first Intellivision game, Astro Smash. I don't yet have an Intellivision, but uh, this is definitely one that I would want to have to play on my Intellivision. Here is, uh, let's see, this is a Game Boy Advance. What is this exactly? Uh, I think you told me what this was, and now I don't remember. Uh huh. Some kind of, some kind of charger or, or adapter thing. Huh. I'll have to check that out. Oh, yes. This is like a, a deal so that you can power a an old school Game Boy Advance, uh, with a cable. Okay. And also for Game Boy Advance, we got. Jimmy Neutron, Boy Junior, uh, Genius. And we got Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 3 for Game Boy Color. And yet again, more Pokemon. We got uh, Pokemon Silver. And once again, this looks pretty legit. It's got the indent in the label and uh, looks sufficiently well loved without being destroyed. Like a lot of Pokemon carts I see in stores are. We also got Madden Football 64 and Wheel of Fortune. So, lots of fun stuff in this here lunchbox. That's pretty cool. Put this over here with the other GBA stuff. All right. Let's close up ye old. Skylanders box and see what other fun trinkets and goodies are in here. Oh boy. There we go. That's kind of a cool, uh, cool little item here. Uh, have to find a good spot for that. All right, so. Here is a Halo LED box, and I'm going to go ahead and try to work one of these new new uh, deals. Let's see if I can get this open with just the new the new box cutter. Hey, look at that. 
pretty cool. Oh yes, this is nice. This is a uh, an original PlayStation pad, uh, which of course doesn't have the analog sticks, so it's an early early model pad. But uh, I like the red; it's pretty neat and uh, kind of fun to have. We've got. Another DS game here. This is The Sims 2 Pets. I'll go ahead and slide this over here with these other ones. We got uh, Puss in Boots for the 360. This is sealed, so that's always fun. Also have Brothers in Arms Earned in Blood. Now I've got the uh, version of this that's on the Wii uh, that's like a double pack of Earned in Blood and one of the other Brothers in Arms games but not the standalone PS2 release, and the foil version of Death Jr. for the PSP, which uh, I believe normally comes uh, with the special edition. So that's pretty cool to have that variant. There's also this bag. Oh, and check this out. There's this... Uh, Call of Duty World War II lanyard. Kind of a neat little item. Yeah. And there is this bag. This is a World of Nintendo bag. And of course, in the World of Nintendo bag is something that is not even remotely Nintendo. Because why not? It is a newbie uh, joystick for the Xbox. So yeah, Xbox joystick for fighting games and uh, you know classic compilations and things like that, arcade ports, what have you. So that's pretty cool. Kind of like that uh, that bag. Yeah, that's pretty cool. All right, so let's set this aside here. We've got all kinds of additional packing material. We'll get some of that out of the way. And then we'll cut this uh, big box inside of here. Mystery gift thingy. Okay. Oh, very nice. A uh, an Optimus Prime set of uh, well, I guess you would call these uh, sort of a mask thing. It's a little bit uh, small for my head because I am not a child, and this is obviously meant for a child's head. But still kind of cool. This would be a fun uh, display piece. Um, you know, something to put up and admire, because uh, I do like me so Optimus Prime. So yeah, very nice. And it has a, oh, it's got a, a lenticular Autobot logo on the front that uh, shows up sometimes, and other times it doesn't. So that's kind of cool. All right, let's see, this is uh, Star Wars Yoda with trainer backpack and, and his little uh, walking stick there. That's pretty cool. Definitely will be a fun one to display. Yoda's great. So that's awesome to uh, have Yoda. Oh, another DS game. This is Mahjong Quest Expeditions. I do like Mahjong. I've played many iterations of that uh, on PC over the years. 
Ah, here we go. One of the items that I've been waiting for. This is my new microfiber TMNT shower curtain. This is gonna go in the guest bathroom. Uh, I do like the curtain that's in my bathroom now, so this is definitely gonna go in the guest bathroom, but it'll be a nice conversation piece when I have company over. Oh, let's see here, let's set this over here. Uh, oh, I have a, an inkling of what this is. Ah, yes. A Vader spatula, of course. Flexible. Much more flexible than Vader himself. Pretty neat item. And let's get this bag open here. Let's see what else we got. Ah, yes. We have couple of additional Skylanders. We've got uh, Quick Draw, Rattle Shake, I'm going to make sure I say that right, and Stealth Stinger. And I've got another Stinger that uh, he picked up for me uh, a while back. Oh, it's not over here next to me. Must be on one of the shelves. But uh, yeah, so more Skylanders to add to the collection. Wow, more DS games. Look at all of these. All kinds of love for the DS today. We've got Challenge Me Word Puzzles. Actually, I'm going to move this over here so I can continue to stack the DS games. We've got uh, Broken Sword, Shadow of the Templars, Director's Cut, uh, Brain Buster Puzzle Pack with Sudoku and uh, all kinds of other games, Big Brain Academy, Mystery Case Files, Million Air, ha ha ha. And are you smarter than a fifth grader? Make the grade. So that's uh, gonna greatly expand my DS collection. <clears throat> oh, and here is Puppy Love Spa and Resort for the Game Boy Advance, still sealed. As you can see there with the uh, plastic still on. So that's pretty cool. Always fun finding sealed games. Oh, here we go. Here's a 3DS game. This is Lego Lord of the Rings. Pretty cool. Ah, oh, let's see here. This is another Disney Infinity. This is a 3.0. And I can't quite make out what it is, but I'm gonna guess Star Wars. Ah, yes, it is a another power disc pack. We've got uh, Finn and Poe and a Rebellion logo and uh, I think that's Ray's little speeder thingy that she had on Jakku. <clears throat> Get this bag open here. And here we've got, ooh, got uh, Cinder, another Skylander. Very, uh, one assumes very much inspired by Spyro, since it's Skylanders, Spyro's Adventure. Whoa! That one came loose. 
and this one is Hogwild Frino. That's kind of a neat, uh, neat little guy on his little uh, hog, his little motorcycle or uh, three-wheel bike, I guess. Cool looking dude. Oh, more DS games. We've got uh, Word Zhong and Picross 3D. Need to get into Picross. I haven't uh, haven't dove into that uh, those waters yet. <clears throat> ah yes. Here we have a GameCube Wavebird. Same as receiver, but uh, I've got a receiver. I've got two of them actually, because I've got a couple of Wavebirds already. So this will work as a nice, a nice spare in case one of those stops working. Uh, let's see here. Oh yes, we were talking about this. This is a couple of uh, interesting little items. I'm actually going to save this bag. This is a couple of, whoops, see that is a battery. <clears throat> and a couple of display screens, or a display, yeah, a couple of displays for uh, different things like displays that you see in a store advertising a product <clears throat> that he salvaged for me. So these will be fun to experiment with to see if I can if I can uh, use them for some other purpose for a mod or an upgrade of some kind. We'll see if uh, that's something that I can make work down the line somewhere. Set that aside for now. <clears throat> oh boy. We got Oh yes. This is a World of Nintendo Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild Link. Very cool. And uh, oh, this is awesome because it's got it's got a bow and an ancient arrow with it. Oh, that is sweet. So as much as I love Breath of the Wild, you guys know this is uh, this is awesome. This will be great to have on the shelf and be displaying with the rest of my the rest of my stuff. <clears throat> Oh yeah, this will be awesome to have out as well. This is an Earthworm Jim figure. It is Peter Puppy. And uh, yeah, Earthworm Jim's fuzzy little fuzz buddy and faithful sidekick. Now, it has the little puppy version, and then it also has the uh, mutated version, I guess, which is pretty cool. <clears throat> ah, yes, a little bit more Wii U action. We got Sing Party, complete in box. Very nice. A couple more bags in this larger box here.
go. <clears throat> ah, yes. An EA Sports plug and play TV game with a three button Genesis pad. I'm gonna guess. See, this is 2004 Jack Specific. I'm gonna guess this is probably, uh, you know, Madden, NFL, uh, NHL, 94, 95, maybe, and uh, maybe Bulls versus Blazers or something like that. Is that right? Bulls versus Lakers, I guess it is. So we'll see what's on that one. That's kind of neat. <clears throat> don't have too many plug-and-play items myself, but I do have a handful. here. Oh. A standard gray N64 pad. Always good to have one of those. And the stick, the analog stick is uh, reasonably tight and recenters. So that's good. You don't always find uh, decent N64 controllers in the wild. It's always nice to find one that should work. Okay. Oh boy, here we go. And now into a bunch of games. Wow, look at all this. Look at all of this. All right. We've got Lego Harry Potter years five through seven. Lego Batman 2 DC Super Heroes. Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 2. Uh, Fling Smash, which apparently has an exorbitantly large manual. Not sure why that is. World War II Aces. We've got Star Wars The Clone Wars Republic Heroes. Sonic and the Secret Rings, Skate City Heroes, Metroid Prime 3, Corruption, very nice, Lego Star Wars, The Complete Saga, I did not have that, Lego Lord of the Rings, these are all Wii games, and now for some GameCube stuff, we've got Beach Spikers Virtual Volleyball, <clears throat> Player's Choice Sonic Heroes and Call of Duty 2, the big red one. So that is a whoa, that is a nice stack of games here. Let me find a spot for these guys over here. <clears throat> and believe it or not, there is lots more. <laughs> Uh, how do you fit all of this into one box, I ask? All right. Ah, yes. Always excited to see this. much for fingernails right now. This is not very easy. And it's okay, you can laugh. Because I can't hear you. <laughs> Plus I can laugh at myself. 
which is good. All right, you know what? I'm going to cheat. And I'm going to use my uh, new box cutter here to just rip a hole open in the bag so I can get to this stuff a little faster. All right. Always awesome to see some PSP stuff. So we've got a couple of UMD movies here. This is a sealed copy of The Hills with Paris Hilton. Yeah. And Christmas with the Cranks, which is actually a funny movie. We also have World Championship cards. <clears throat> Splinter Cell Essentials. Very nice. Need for Speed Carbon, Own the City, Greatest Hits. Mortal Kombat Unchained. Metal Gear, Metal Gear Solid Portable Ops. And I do believe that is the uh, original version. I have Portable Ops Plus, so that's nice to have that. Greatest Hits, Lego Batman. And also, Dave Mira BMX Challenge, still sealed. And... My uh, very first PlayStation Vita game, Reality Fighters. So that's pretty cool. Let's set these aside here. We continue to plumb the depths of this giant box of stuff. Good grief. I knew there was a lot in here, but uh, <laughs> I'm still a little overwhelmed. It's crazy. Okay, PlayStation 2, greatest hits, Shadow the Hedgehog. I think I'm going to just start putting stuff back in this box so I can have some place to set it. Okami, which is great. Tech and Tag Tournament. Supercar Street challenge should I say that right Star Wars the Force Unleashed and I believe now that makes every version of the original Star Wars the Force Unleashed that I own at least on one version on every console SSX Ridge Racer 5 Ratchet and Clank going commando a nice foil cover there and the Activision Anthology, which is fantastic. I really am going to enjoy that. Wow. All right, what am I going to go for next here? Let's do this one. This is a... Wow. Hole there. Ah, more PS2. All right, we've got Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 3. Greatest Hits, Spyro, Enter the Dragonfly. Spider Man. Shinobi, which I did not have. This is great. I had Nightshade already, but not Shinobi. So, very cool to have that. Tomb Raider Legend. Ah, uh, let's see here. Connectica. Uh, Xenosaga Episode 1. Derville Zamacht. I believe that's how you pronounce that. True Crime Streets of LA. I think I got that on the GameCube as well. Metal Gear Solid 2, Sons of Liberty. Uh, Manhunt. <clears throat> Did not have that. Uh, let's see. Let's Ride Silver Buckle Stables. Legend of the Dragon. A sealed copy of Chronicles of Narnia, 
the Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. Starting to build myself a little Narnia collection. Sealed copy of Casper Spirit Dimensions. I've never seen that one before. Bombastic. I have seen that one. That actually looks like a fun puzzle game. Hot Shots Golf 4. I've got the Greatest Hits version, but not this one. Frogger, The Great Quest. Uh -huh. A whole new way to play Frogger. All right. We've got Treasure Planet. My, my nephew will like that one because he's really, he likes Treasure Planet. Tokyo Extreme Racer 3. That's pretty cool. Uh, Mortal Kombat Deadly Alliance. AKA Mortal Kombat 5, I do believe. Uh, let's see, Dragon Ball Z Budokai 3. I think Budokai 3 is getting a little bit more uh, harder to find. And Digimon World Data Squad. And I'm not done yet, folks. There is still more. All right. So for Xbox 360, we have Xbox Live Arcade Unplugged. We have Viking Battle for Asgard. Turok. Soul Calibur 5. Ninja Gaiden 2 with the slipcover. We've got Platinum Family Hits, Lego Star Wars The Complete Saga. We have Lego Lord of the Rings. We've got a dual game here, Lego Indiana Jones, The Original Adventures, with Kung Fu Panda. We've got John Woo Presents Stranglehold with Chow Yun-Fa, sporting on the cover there. Homefront. Forza Motorsport 4, which I'm pretty sure I didn't have. Uh, Forza Motorsport 2. We've got DMC, Devil May Cry. <clears throat> Assassin's Creed 2. Assassin's Creed, standard version. Uh, Lego Harry Potter, years one through four. And, ah, uh, X-Men Legends on the GameCube. Very cool. And, oops, now I think this will be the last. <laughs> because I don't see any other bags in here. So, Let's get this bag open. Actually, here, well, I'm gonna have to just figure this out. Well, let's see here. I can get this set down over in the corner here. We may be able to open this a little bit more efficiently. <clears throat> All right, well, I'm going to cheat again and Cut a hole so I can tear into this bad boy. 
All right, got some PS3 games here. So let's go through. I think that's all of them. All right, so we've got Kingdom Hearts 2.5 HD Remix. Gran Turismo 5. <clears throat> Uncharted 2, Among Thieves. Nice to finally have a standard copy of that, along with Uncharted, Drake's Fortune. Fracture. Dynasty Warriors 7. Dead or Alive 5. Condemned 2, Bloodshot. Got that on the 360, but not the PS3. Uh, Blaze Blue, Continuum Shift. Cool to have that. Armored Core for Answer. Uh, 007, Quantum of Solace. I've got the PS2 version of that, but uh, I'm sure that'll look and play nicer on uh, PS3. And Vin Diesel, Wheelman. So guaranteed wooden acting, but lots of action. <clears throat> and, oh, excuse me, just a few more items in here. As if, you know, everything else that I got wasn't enough. And a few original Xbox games here. So we got <clears throat> Cold Fear, which I've heard was pretty cool. Kind of a um, survival horror at sea. Batman Begins. Yeah. I was hoping to get this on the Xbox at some point. I've got the GameCube version, but uh, I really wanted it on the Xbox. Because that is uh, supposedly the best version. This is uh, Tao Feng. Um, Microsoft Company Store Purchase. Not to be sold. <laughs> Tao Feng. Fist of the Lotus. Yeah, cool looking fighting game. Return to Castle Wolfenstein, Tides of War, Platinum Hits. Oddworld, Stranger's Wrath. <clears throat> We've got The Lord of the Rings, The Two Towers. And now I have an Xbox copy of Tomb Raider Legend. Here's... Half-Life 2, that's pretty cool. <clears throat> we got uh, Gravity Games, Bike, Street, Vert, Dirt. Boy, that's a mouthful. And Goblin Commander, Unleash the Horde, which looks like uh, a little bit of a maybe real-time strategy or squad-based combat type of thing. Action pack strategy game made for the console. Design a custom army from over 25 different goblins. Cool. Okay. Well, that is the Mammoth Zagbox. Uh, that, as I said, has been a long time coming. And now is going to take me uh, the rest of this evening to actually catalog... And, uh, uh, and then probably more time even to rearrange and get everything shelved because, um, yeah, I'm not done redoing my shelves yet. So this is going to be interesting. So yeah, uh, if you like this video, uh, and you made it this far, congratulations. Also consider hitting the thumbs up and, uh, give the video a like so I know that you like seeing these and uh, would like perhaps to see more of this kind of content uh, coming up in your YouTube feed and also subscribe so that you can do just that. Uh, make sure you follow me on Twitter at Game Boy Guru. I'll have a link in the description below to my blog where you can read my Game Boy game reviews. That is GameBoyGuru.blogspot.com. Also make sure you check out Nira and his channel. 
He provides the Super Mario Land overworld music that I use as the intro for many of my videos. And he also has a bunch of other great chiptune and game music uh, covers as well, so make sure you go check that out. As always, thanks for watching, thanks for playing, and game on.